and us really glowing this morning is the fantastic weather. I mean, it feels so nice outside David Singleton. It does, it does. We're, we're going to see those temperatures falling over the next couple of days. And so you're going to feel temperatures in the 80s this afternoon. But over the next couple of days, I don't think many of us will find ourselves getting out of the 70s. Uh, take a look at that. This is uh, what it looks like through our West Jeff Medical Center camera. You can see a little bit of haze in the, the area. Some of those high cirrus clouds are with us uh, as well. But overall, it's a great start to what I think is going to be a great day here in the Crescent City. Let me start by taking you out to the Atlantic and showing you that uh, we are mostly clear until, of course, you get over towards the Bahamas, which is where uh, Hurricane jo uh, Joaquin is. Uh, and it is creating big problems for parts of the Bahamas. It is a Category 3 hurricane, possibly could become a Category 4 storm later on uh, today or tonight. Uh, so we've been watching this thing very, very closely, and we um, are definitely going to keep you as up to date as possible with it. We also have uh, an area of low pressure, some of the remnants of Ida that is uh, here's a um, uh, Bermuda and just southwest of Bermuda is that particular, southeast of Bermuda is that particular storm system. It has a high chance of developing into a tropical system in the next five days. Uh, so we're going to keep our eyes on that as well. But back to uh, Joaquin and what it is doing to Bermuda in terms of rainfall totals up to 15 inches in isolated areas. Big storm surge problems out there as well. And here's a look at the GFS and what it says uh, this storm is going to do over the course of the weekend. And as you can see, intensification is definitely. Uh, in the forecast here. This is the position of the storm at 2 o'clock on your Saturday afternoon. Still well out into the Atlantic at that time. Uh, staying, uh, getting a little bit closer to the eastern seaboard over the course of the weekend. This is um, Sunday night at about 10.30 p.m. And uh, that's uh, just to the east of the Washington, uh, Baltimore uh, area as a pretty intense storm. But, uh, you know, I think the National Hurricane Center forecast strike has it at about a Category 2 status at that time. And then making, uh, making landfall around the New York area, New Jersey, New York area, uh, into your Monday afternoon. So uh, interesting what this particular model is saying. It's uh, pretty much in concurrence with what the, what the uh, National Hurricane Center forecast track is saying, but much different than what some of the the other models are saying. For us here locally, the frontal boundary has passed through the area. It is down in the Gulf of Mexico. Our skies have cleared out very nicely. The temperatures have changed. They are uh, five degrees or so cooler than they were at this time yesterday. The winds are a lot stronger. The pressure gradient has gotten tighter. And the pollen uh, isn't changing much. It's a little bit lower than yesterday, but still in the high range for today for ragweed and grasses. So if you've been sneezing a lot, uh, you're going to continue to do that today. At the airport right now, uh, some of those high cirrus clouds, 72 degrees. 76 percent humidity. That number is going to be a lot lower over the next couple of days. And the winds are out of the north at 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. This is what I think is going to happen by 9 a.m. I'm thinking we're in the low to the mid 70s at that time. By noontime, uh, mid to the upper 70s. Your highs this afternoon will be in the low to the mid 80s. And then by 6 p.m., we're all somewhere in the mid 70s once again. Notice those winds about 15 miles per hour for a good portion of the day. So if you headed out to Jazz in the park, I think you're in good shape. Hold on to your hat because it'll still be pretty breezy at that time. And for the southeastern game later on tonight at 6 p.m., it's going to be a beautiful night for that game if you're headed up to Strawberry Stadium. Here's a look at your seven day forecast showing you those great temperatures, especially those morning lows, Susan. Pretty chilly, pretty chilly. Looks good.